All right, so first we're going to squeeze the eights. I'll let you know how the nut flopping develops. King Jack, hold. Yo, what's up, guys? How's it going? Welcome to the stream. It's Saturday, you guys. Big bounty day on Poker Stars. Very excited to be here. Already fired up some tournaments, so let's get going. Some Saturday action. Let's go. So the five tables we have on screen. Once again, no Javaro today. Having some crashing issues, so basically... Uh, playing without that HUD, just the Poker Tracker HUD. Uh, I'm going to move all in right away. Just right now. Right now, we're going to move all in. I know we just got here, but uh, they're playing really passive. So I like to play. Three! Not today, man. Not today. How about the Ace King, though? Very deep here. Hey, Jamie. Vamos! Best of luck. Thanks, dude. So this is the $11 payday. Two-day tournament. Day two is tomorrow. I haven't made it through yet this week, so... Uh Focusing on that, take that down and put in a 3-bet here against a Ross Sylvester in the 33 Turbo. Also going to find a replacement tournament going for us. Big 33, okay. Big 33, I'm in for you. Let's do it. 3 big calls, we see a 10-8-3. Uh, Plan is going to be to bet here about 480, I think it's good. Gives us a good sizing to shove on the turn if we want to do that. Vamos, Nasa Zuret. Vamos, my friend. Hello, the poop. Hello, Am I Shroomer? Hello, Bitcoin Louie. Hello, Og TV. Hello, Darts. HSG, what's up, dude? See you there. Pick it a call, seven on the turn. Okay. Completes a few things they could possibly have, but like, we're not too worried about it. They lead for 975. We'll put the money in. And they have top set of tens. Okay. And we do get a squeeze from Thiago, and we have the best hand we're going to just call pre flop in this spot. So, uh, pretty interesting. And we get a reshove. I don't think we can fold. If we would have three bet, and then it was four bet, five bet, maybe. But uh, with us sort of just slow playing our jacks, I think we've got to roll. And we just got to dodge the heart ace king. Just the ace or king. There it is, you guys. Boom. 21,000 chips in the speedway. Big pickup for us with the jacks. Oh, we got kings. So the 33 speedway. So let's see how we're doing. And Agent Bear calls directly behind. We got Buckos, friend of the stream, in the big. Got some feel-good house going on tonight. I like it, guys. I'm digging the tunes right now. All right, so queen nine five. Um, it's pretty close as to whether we want a better check. I think I'm gonna bet. I'd much like to check aces and kings with the heart. We don't have a heart in our hand, so I'm just gonna start with a bet, and we want to bet on the bigger side, I think, too. Ace on the turn. This is a good card for our normal hands, not a good card for our actual hand. I'm gonna check. Like the sorts of hands we raise under the gun: ace king, ace queen, ace jack. You know, like a uh, king queen suited. You know, those sort of hands improve on this ace on average, but not the kings. Uh, and they bet 3,400. I think we should probably just fold now. We beat a few things, right? Like like Jack-10 suited could have called us pre-flop. A hand like sixes through eights could have called the flop and then decided to bluff on this ace turn, but it's really just a small percentage of the total hands Agent Bear can have there. So I'm gonna preserve the chips. Don't worry, it's coming. Eights against King-4 for 10,000 chips. Oh, nope. <laughs> We're not holderinos right now, man. We're struggling to hold, but that's okay. And I'm going to 4-bet here. They're 3-betting 30% of hands. So let's 4-bet ace-queen. Uh, call it, what's the weight today? 221.2, I think. Or 220.2? I'm not sure which. Ace-queen against sixes. Let's go, you guys. 20,600. I think it's a fine hand to open. Cannibal Mind in the big blind is the one we have to be most worried about, who I think we can actually upgrade to a senior now. But Ler Lerling will call us. We see Queen, Queen, 9. Check raise is reasonable. Check rate, check call is reasonable too. There's a lot of money in the pot and not a huge stack. They're going to bet quite a lot here. And the amount of times they bet with an actual queen is, you know, like that's not the majority of their bets in the situation. So we can just seize on this 9,000. Also get paid off from worse nines and get it in really good against draws too. So I'm going to go for a check raise. This also balances out when we just have a flush draw here. We have jack-10 or something. Uh, now we actually get to check raise for some value. But when they have a queen, you know, we're in, we're like dead-ish. You know, we need runner runner club. Matt was 175 or 176 this morning. I'm 221. Pocket eights in the speedway. We see a raise under the gun after they win the last hand, but eights are too strong in this spot with how deep we are. 15 big blinds. Wow, and we flop the nuts here as well. All right, so first we're going to squeeze the eights. I'll let you know how the nut flopping develops. King Jack. Hold. Hold. Oh, we hold. Let's go, you guys. And we check raise with the nuts against a flush draw. God, we got to hold. 
Let's go, you guys. 20,000 in the Bounty 55. Huge pickup. And 50K in the 33 Saturday Speedway. Let's go. Raise, min, re raise, I call. Now, all of a sudden, we have starting stack, 4x starting stack, 4x starting stack, and 5x starting stack. Whew. Not bad. I'm going to kick your butt in the big 33, Jamie. Good luck. All right, Cardi. Bring the heat, man. Not an ideal flop. Again, there's a min raise and then a click back re raise. We can't really continue with the eights, but it does check to us. Let's see a free turn. Oh, it's an eight. It's an eight. Oof. Knocking things around. I'm getting excited. Calm down, Jamie. Relax. Now I'm going to bet on the turn about 700 here. Let's get some money. Let's not mess around. 700 into 1140. Get a call from Lefek Gongo. I'm really tempted to go for all the money here because I think I can stack two pairs. And I think they probably hit that ace min re-raising. Let's go, dude. For the bounty! Oh, they fold. I really went for it, man. I did. I really went for it. Let's go to the speedway. It pays 269, guys. And we are down to 383 in a good spot with good amount of chips. Man, I had a tough poker motivation week, but all of a sudden, it's just back, baby. I'm feeling good. I feel like we're going to win something today. Lee W calls in the big blind. All right, we see a jack five deuce. I was just talking about poker motivation. Please don't flop a set on me, Lee. That's all I ask, man. Ah, oh, ace in the turn. All right, I'm going to bet turn and then check back river. I think. No, I am. That's what I'm doing. But it's obviously not a good card for our actual hands. Lee folds in the turn. Okay, 60,000 chips. We have ace king in the Saturday Speedway, guys. All in against queen jack. Can we hold 66%? Make that 95%. Boom. We got him on the turn. More chips. We're up to 74,300, and it feels good. Look at the Ace King suited on the button. This is the Bounty 55, so people are going to want to get the Bounty. We haven't earned any Bounties yet, but we have a nice chip stack, obviously. Call on a call. Ace 10 4 flop. We flop. Top pair. I think I want to bet about half pot here. A little bit less. If we're heads up, I'd bet quite small, but three ways, I think we can size up a bit. Wow. Here we go, guys. Here we go. Let's go. Another 29,000. We're up to 94K. Let's go back to the Ace King. Check back on the turn. That Jack is not a good card. And 10 on the river, also not great. They elect to check, though. Uh, I'm going to try and get some value from an Ace X type hand. And I also think they'd probably lead a 10, but they just didn't. And sometimes that's the way it works. Ace Jack, this is a nice hand in the bounty. Let's raise it up. Remarkably, no bounties <laughs> at our table. I mean, we have 20 big blinds, but that's not normally the shortest stack at a table. It's all right. Checks around. We see a five of clubs on the turn. I think this is a good hand to check again. Um, we should feel pretty comfortable with our hand based on no one betting with how many draws there are out there. Four spades in the river. I'm going to put a little block bet out. We might actually get some value out of our hand here. Nino Calavera. Calls with four, five. Oh, they make two pair on the river. That sucks. All right, guys, have we broke the bubble? We have 268 remaining. Redfeld hype confirmed. Saturday Speedway with quite a nice stack. It's a turbo. It's going to move quick. Uh, I'm going to reshove here. We don't have any information on them other than they were playing really tight before the bubble. But like the math in this spot against a range that they should shove, we're clearly doing well. And we don't have enough information to deviate from that. Um, we win the pot. Let's go. 131K. That puts us in 12th place with 267 remaining. So this is the stage of the tournament that things maybe go a little bit crazy, right? There's a bunch of 10 to 20 big blind stacks. We're in the money. It's going to be wild out here, guys. See what we can do. It folds around to us. I'm just going to shove with Ace Jack suited. It looks like a huge shove, but it's really not when you look at their stacks in relation to the blinds. We have a flip for 87K. Ace or Jack, that's a Jack on the turn. Let's go. Another flip going our way. Up to 176 $54 in our pocket right now. But the top five pay over 1000 and first place is 5600 It's a chunk of muns, man. Here's up 6-9 suited. Call from Roger Docks in the small. Action on George. Who also calls, and we flop a straight flush draw. 10-7-4 with the 10-7 of spades. If we hit the 8 of spades, we have a straight flush. But for now, let's start with a bet. I think just over half pot, considering we're in a three-way pot, and we're pretty deep stacked, is going to be the right sizing here. Just take it down, just like that. All right, going to call with the sevens against Carvita, who has a very big stack, considering how early in the tournament it is. Unlucky for them, though, we flop at a top set. We bet 5-12. We're going to put in a raise right now. This is just a much better board for us than Caravita. So we're going to be raising a lot on this flop and having top set, I think, is a fine spot to do it. Let's get money in against overpairs, right? Like, you know, eights plus. 
Five on the turn. We really don't bet very many bluffs here. All right, so I'm going to keep betting. I mean, there's two schools of thought, right? Like, we don't have very many hands that are going to want to double barrel when the board pairs. But then also, when the board pairs, it makes it less likely that we have a set, which is what they're worried about with an overpair. So, works both ways. Basecom TP dropping that five month resub. Hello, Basecom. Oh my God, it's the Barry Gold sub as well. $24.99. The boss tier sub. Thank you so much, man. Three big blinds like it's time. The 22 progressive KO. It's been a tough tournament, man. It's been a tough one. Maybe we can get something going here. You never know. It's a lot of money in the pot. We're going to need a 10 jack or maybe like an 8-7 combo. 8 queen combo. Queen king combo. Yeah, a little 8 on the river. That could work. little 8 ball on the river. Jack, maybe that'll work. Who knows? Also, all in in the bounty 55 as well. We'll sweat that in a second. Guys, we took that down. 4,200 chips. That's a nice quadruple up. We've been so card dead this whole tournament, but we're kind of back. Let's see how we do with the queen jack called by sevens. We got a flip to stay alive in the bounty 55. We need a queen jack or 10. Actually, they had a set, so never mind. We needed more than that. And other people that are watching the stream, that's fun. Guys, we might be up to 13k here. <laughs> we might have just turned three big blinds into 13,000 with 98 remaining. Can we hold? Gotta dodge the ace. Let's go, you guys. 13,000 coming our way. We now have a really big stack. <laughs> what a comeback. We've been so card to this whole tournament. All right, we have pocket jacks in the 22 progressive. Uh, I'm gonna reshove here. Try and protect our equity. And uh, I mean, we wouldn't mind a call from another opponent. No, they have queens. We need a straight run out. Nine ball. Nope, not today. All right, let's go over to the nines here in the speedway. Doink Master raises to 18,000. I am going to shove against this, the nines, which is definitely a strong enough hand. Called by Queen Jack. Oh, it sucks to have to flip here. Oh, that's a rough one, man. And we get a raise from Red J Black. We'll be reshoving against this unless there's a re-raise before us, in which case we could probably get out of the way. Once it folds to us, we are going to try and scoop those 32,000 in the middle. They have Ace King. Too bad, guys. We busted the tournament in 98th place for $95, but that is the end of the run in the 33 Speedway. All right, so I'm going to lead with our two pair. Get a call, 10 of the turn. This is usually a really good card for them. I like check raising here. I'm going to get a lot of bets out of them. All right, we'll block bet river, fold to a shove. Any eight beats us. There's some two pairs that beat us. Wow, they don't shove. They just raised to 3,500. Let's still fold. All right, there's a $15 bounty. We got to roll here as well, guys. We covered this $15 bounty. It is the bubble. This $15 cash, right, which adds a lot to this. Like, it's basically the same as a min cash, and people are going to be hunting it, so... Let's go against spent, spent Vase. Jack 776. We're doing really well. Can we hold? Can we hold? Let's go, you guys. Huge double up plus a $15 bounty. Our first bounty of the day, kind of embarrassingly. $15 cash. And we have a nice stack going into the money. We're two away. Let's go. Aces, nines, fives. Come on, man. For the triple up. For the 1125 bounty. Can we dodge it? Yep. No problem, dude. No problem. We are up to 16.8 plus. Get a first bounty in this tournament for $11.25. Uh, Mr. Nino calls in the small, and we have this flop. We're on the bubble still? We are still on the bubble. This is 750 bounty, but like it's going to be really tough to get a worse hand to pay off here. It's really close. I guess I'm going to go for the bet call if they shove, but like I don't like it very much. It's really awkward stack size. If they had 7k, it's no problem. If they have 12k, no problem. Like We're not interested in getting it in, but with 9k, it's like, all right. Hold. Get there. 33% for a bounty in the dreams. We are the shortest stack. We are in the money, guys. Red felt official. Let's go. Red felt hype. We've made the money. We're super short. But at one point, we had four big blinds in this tournament. So we could come back. Here we go. Guess we'll do this so it doesn't look like all in. And while we wait for that, we're all in with ace queen. And we're all in with jacks as well. Oh my god. Jacks in the hyper. We're ahead. We're ahead. Holy crap, we just scooped a four-way all-in up to 9,800. The ace-queen gets through. Let's go back to the king-jack here. Wow, we just tripled up in the hyper against king-queen, guys. I think this is the end of the journey. Oh, we need the five. Where's the five? Check, sure. We actually don't know anything about 
anyone at this table first hand with all of these players over the check with second pair wow and they pot it this is tough <laughs> it's a weird spot yeah i guess i go like we flop second pair in this weird position where unless they have a king like we're doing really well and the price is super good and with the hyper so i guess we go and pocket eights and the 162 bounty still waiting for the hud to pop up on other people for the a3 and we go four ways to flop yikes for the check but it's kind of tough this board we're all in with the nines our eights is not going so well king on the turn i think we're pretty much done with that hand i'll keep you updated though nines against six seven for a bounty for uncle mo they don't get it though there we go guys up to 11k nice needed double up let's go back to those eights that we started with shove call call oh we don't want to see the queens seven percent oh the ace on the river let's go barry if you're a sub to the channel get the step barry out in chat we pick up the chips man up to 9500 i like it shove here in the hyper turbo for 12 big blinds with queen eight eight away from the money shows the seven deuce and folds fair enough and a limp, our opponent's really passive here, 42-6. Going to be another shove with the ace. Like, think about 42% of hands, right? This many hands, really a ton. How many of those are calling your shove? Not many. Uh, and here, another shove with ace three, because we're basically shoving through like one and a half people. Like, this opponent has two big blinds, right? So really, we just don't want to call from uh, <sighs> Lyra Trist. There is how you bubble the hyper. I mean, not really, we were eight away from the money, but. I mean, this stack essentially isn't here, so it's like we're shoving through two people. Gene only has 10 big blinds, but they have it. Not going to win the hyper today. Flop at a top pair, top kicker, and a three-way pot. Got to bet about 350. So dry. Like, there's hardly anything going on here. We don't have to bet very big. Oh, man. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I guess we call, but, like, yuck. <laughs> All right, nice. So we picked that up, 9,800, and Calixis... Could have this $56 bounty going in uh, pretty soon here. Uh, I think we should raise a bit bigger here than normal. Disincentivize people. Galaxis just folds though. Three bet from gluten free and now we're in another spot, right? Like we can call for 2x with a suited hand with a potential bounty in play. No mills calls, which makes it a bit awkward. I think we should probably call here though, given our stack and bounties. So let's do it. Absolute havoc going on here. Flop a pair of fours. If it goes shove, fold, we call with our pair. But if they call, then we're out. It's just worth it for this $56. Again, it's 75% bounties today. All right, 20% against the top pair. Not bad. <laughs> Not bad. We got the bounty, you guys. $56 cash. Get there.gov. Oh my God. Just shove, yeah. Especially in this Saturday Co. Late Edition, it's a non... It's a non-progressive bounty, so basically each bounty is worth $50 cash. I think shoving for 18 is going to be best, especially with jacks. Called by Queen 7. That's pretty wild for 18,600. Let's go, you guys. Full house is good. Double up with the jacks. That's a big raise. The big one's sitting out there, so we'll call. Flop at a top pair. Here we go. Big pot incoming if NSA bets, which, I mean, based on... How they called with the queen seven, I expect them to bet quite a bit here. So we will uh, try and get that 11,000 in the middle, risking 16. Same sort of thing, if they have an overpair, we have 20%. If they don't, we're ahead and doing really well. And they just fold 27k, nice pickup. Let's keep it going. All right, ace queen in the 33 bounty and Jax, Saturday KO late edition. We'd love to see a shove from NSA. If they shove, we just reshove to protect our equity here. Ah, oh, they fold. All right, we're going to raise it up against Uncle Mo, who is still playing quite passively here. Okay. We still probably have the best hand, but it's not the best flop in the world. I'm going to bet on the flop. Call. Check on the turn. 5,400 on the river, about half pot here. Spades missed. I don't know if they're going to want to bet very many kings for half pot, considering uh, our raise pre. I don't think they have very many threes, so I think it's a decent spot to make a call here. I think we're good 25% of the time. They unfortunately, I have a set, though, which... It's gonna lose us a few chips. Bcar94 is back on stars. If so, I just gave us free chips. The bounty 33. I uh, yeah, it is. It's uh, is Bcar94. So B E C C A R R 94. That's her name. Can we hold for 18,000 chips and 33 bounty? Oh, let's go, guys. Let's go. Chips coming our way. 
And idle power is very short here with a $45 bounty. We definitely have to pay attention to that. Bounties are a huge part of this tournament. We have an all-in. Here it is, guys. We're going to shove again. We want to get this $45. Got to protect our equity here. What a hype hand. The question is, does Gifted Troll overcall? Call here. Nines, King, Queen, Ace, Queen. Just an Ace or Queen for the double knockout. We don't get the knockout. And we don't get the chips. That's a tough flip to lose, man. That's a big one. We have a weird spot in the Bounty Builder 162. Raise pre, call, call. Check, lead flop, call, raise flop, fold, call. Now, queen on the turn. I think I'm beat a lot of the time here. I mean, I beat spade draws. That's about it. If they had queen 10 and decided to check raise bluff the turn, they're probably going to check on, or check raise bluff the flop, they're probably going to check this turn. So we beat only bluffs here. I would highly suspect that they have king jack in this spot. Do we have the right odds against uh, king jack? One, two, three, four, five, six. Ouch. No. Fold. Right, let's go to the 33 bounty. We're going to call for 700 chips with a nice suited connector. Oh my god, look at the draw. Look at the draw, dude. Gonna obviously, check raise. Just tons of equity in the spot. So much equity. My god. We have 54% against top pair. Oh, we hit the straight. Let's go. Not bad, man. Look at this. <laughs> Raise, call, squeeze, shove for a bounty, reshove for 8,300. We can't do it. We're just too far behind, guys. Ace, queen, tens, ace, king. Yep, that describes it accurately. Timing again. Ah, yeah, dude. GG. Uncle Mo raises it up to 1,800. That is just a call here for now. I mean, things could get out of hand. This really hits our range. Bet 3,000 on the turn against Mo, And they min-raise. This really doesn't make very much sense at all. Like, set of eights. Uh, or heart draw or something. I guess I'll just call. If it's a heart, we could probably fold the river. Oh, man. So, <laughs> we're getting four and a half to one, right? Which means, I guess we're getting three and a half to one. Which means we need to be good, like, 22% of the time, right? So what sort of bluffs can they have? Well, they could have hearts. But the thing is, like, don't they shove hearts instead of just check raise small? Um, I think set of eights is super likely queen jack. I would have expected them to put in some action before this, but they can have a lot of two pairs as well. Like king eight, ten eight are totally reasonable. Ten eight most likely. Um, so what bluffs do we beat? You know, like sometimes they make a pair with a nine. I don't expect them to shove, but it's such a good price too. You know, at the same time, it's really brutal. Do you block the nuts. Hearts miss. Uh, what do you think, chat? Are we good 22% of the time? If you want to lose late weight with li very little effort, I think we all do, mate. That'd be all right. Hey, somehow we scooped this thing. We're going to chop really often here, and somehow it didn't happen with the perfect deuce three. Heart, racing psycho. Heart to you, my friend. Oh, we flop at a trips, man. Not bad. Bet really small here against Alex Witty. This is not a flop we're going to hit very often. Like, we have 6-7 suited, 7-8 suited, pocket 5s and pocket 7s. But uh, in general, this is a better flop for them. But then again, with our, like, ace highs, we're going to want to protect our equity. So, bet again on the turn. Can check raise to 3,000. Just call. If they have bluffs, we want to let them keep bluffing. There it is, guys. We double up to 17,200 in the Bounty 162. Shove for a lot. I don't think they have big pairs in this situation, so we'll call King Six. We have a slight edge. Hey, there we go. Up to six thousand. We'll call to the streets. Oh, interesting. This is not a bad flop because we actually have second pair, which doesn't happen very often with a pair of fours. We also have a gut shot to go along with it, so that's pretty cool. Call to the turn. Another decent card brings in more flush draws and makes it less likely they have an ace in their hand. Both pretty cool things for us. They bet really small. Again, we're going to call. Four! All right, nine's a relative brick. Both the draws did miss. I'm a little bit worried about their sizing on the turn, honestly. Like, it's pretty strong sizing, but no, they have fives. So sick. Oh, damn. That <laughs> sucks to see that hand. And I say is all in, guys. For a $50 bounty, we pick up ace queen. Whoo, let's go. This is such a sick time to pick up Ace Queen, guys. We're all in.
If Burger calls, we could actually get two bounties here. They just fold. Now the question is, can we hold against NSA? There it is. Boom! Cup pal! They're sitting out so they don't even get to play the hand. $50 cash coming our way. Just for a shove, dude. That's it. 83 of 141. It pays 90. A little bit surprised I'm only in 81st. Give my stack. We are deep. And damn, flop it a two pair against a friend of the stream, Jay all in. So close to fend, but with bounties and stacks, I think it's fine. Check shove. And holds. And holds. For a six dollar bounty, let's go. Sorry, Jay. Check back here with a pair of jacks. Check again in the spot. I'm going to raise river. I think we should be able to get more than nine hundred dollars in value. Uh, pretty easy shove here against Sam Racco's bounty and Brazil's call. Damn, we gotta dodge. We gotta dodge it hard. We're gonna bubble the tournament. Put a thousand here. Call against the flush drop. Hold. Up to 14k in the six max. This is our feature though, the 162 bounty. At 200, 400, we have a pretty nice stack and one bounty earned, and then also the 109 late KO, we have one bounty. We get a squeeze from Jerovit. I'm going to fold. Let's go to the um, 27 six max, start with a check call. What is Dottie? Dottie Pepper Shades. Dottie Pepper, she's a golf announcer. Kind of a meme that was created when I was a kid and just never died. It's like uh, something to think about. Bet the river. And a full. Up to 16k. So we raise aces, get called in the small. Bet flop, call. Bet turn, call. River eight, shove. And Jerovit is thinking. We're all in nines against sixes in the 109 KO. Oh my god, they hit a six. <laughs> ah, okay, we bust with a $50 bounty, but damn, that sucks. That sucks. I don't think institutional and mainstream Wall Street corporate money being interested in investing in Bitcoin is any cause for concern. Uh, we're going to check raise to 2700 here as our aces play works out. We're up to 24k, 18 of 82. There's two bounties in play here. For 5,000 chips, we're getting two to one with two bounties, and this one's $112, we call. Hit me. Deuce! And dodge everything. Dodge every spade. Oh my god, how do they hit two more? All right, I still like the gamble, though. With the double bounties. All right, Wild Styles opens. We are just off the bubble here, so I'm gonna just call. And let's go over to I Want Access, who opens. We're gonna shove 25 big blinds with Ace-9 here. East 9 Queen Jack for 31,000 chips, dude. That's brutal. Get one bounty for $56, but that is the end of our journey in that tournament. And we have made it. Redfeld hype. We're in the muns, you guys. $27 in the prize pool and $6 in bounty so far. Let's go. Pocket threes for 10 big blinds. Here we go. All right, we have a reshove. Very fair. Do we hold? Ah, uh, I guess sixes. We need to get there. Queen! Oh, no! Seven! <laughs> We're on 57th place, you guys, for 27 plus $6 bounty, $33. Spin and go max to close the session. You know, for most people, it just makes sense to do your research and, like, understand the space before you get into it, you know? Alright, there's uh, two pair. I mean, if you just want to gamble or whatever, sure, I mean, go gamble. But, uh, you know, like, I'm certainly not advising that. So top two pay, and we're five-handed here in the lead. No, second place of the spin, Max. Ace five, come on. Come on, ace five. Five. Oh, God. Now we're going into the all-in in third, you guys, which means we need to win this or else we're going to get no cash. The thing is, if they chopped that, we would have been in second and we would have had 66% equity to at least cash. We're ahead here, though. Ace eight, ace two, seven nine. Got to dodge the spade. Got to dodge the spade. We get third. That's really unlucky for us guys, honestly, that they woke up with a hand that they could shove and then also didn't shop there because we would have been second. And like in this scenario, we would have got 200 bucks. So like basically just the perfect storm happened to us. That sucks. All right, guys, that's it for the stream today. Let me pause the music. Thank you so much for everyone for watching the donos, the bit lords, the subs. All the new followers, thank you guys so much for supporting the show day after day. I really appreciate it. I'm going to be back tomorrow with a nice Sunday stream. Really excited about it. I think I played super good tonight. Didn't pan out in terms of like a big score, but I gave myself a lot of opportunities to run up stacks. So um, 
Hopefully we have a good one tomorrow. Thank you guys for tuning in. Till tomorrow, guys. We'll see you later.